Hey guys, it's Sir Thorn here, and uh, this is a follow-up to yesterday's video about Chugga Conroy. It turns out that only a few hours after I posted that video in defense of Chugga Conroy, another Let's Player who had previously been one of the fourth rotating members on the Runaway Guys, by the name of Masay Anella, had posted her own tweets, her own eight-part tweet, basically corroborating Lady Emily. That being said, you are probably wondering what my new and updated take on the matter is. In a word, it has barely changed. It has changed a little, but not by much, and I'm going to explain why. First of all, I have a playlist about my hot takes now, so I highly encourage you to go and watch all of those. Some of them are fully scripted. This one is not scripted. The one I'm currently making is not scripted. That's why I'm stumbling over my words and why there's awkward pauses all around. Some of them were scripted. Some of them are not. But I want you all to go and listen to all of them because it'll give you an idea of just exactly how I feel about this about all of this internet drama whenever it happens. I've noticed a lot of recurring uh, patterns when it comes to this internet drama, chief among them being the person, the, the accuser giving virtually no details as to what the accused has actually done. He or she will usually just use generic stuff like he raped me or things like that or she'll, they'll just say she's transphobic or he's a or she's a turf or never actually going into any real detail as to exactly what the person to be canceled has actually done and 99% of the time I often find that to be quite detrimental to the accuser's story because whenever they speak publicly on a situation but then fail to give any details I usually tend to try to read between the lines and I typically tend to find holes in their story they try to give as few details as possible so as to uh, not half so as to minimize the chance of there being any holes in the story but uh, the thing is the th that I'm nonetheless able to pry inconsistencies out of their uh, what few details they actually provide. And uh, as much as I love Miss Sayanella, as much as I love her Let's Plays, I love her personality, her content, her entertainment value, uh, I have to say this eight-part tweet is just one such an instance. Uh, the only thing, she admits that she has, uh, she no longer associates with Chuck Conroy, uh, said that she will not, uh, be in the same proximity to him anymore unless it's in a highly public space, like, a like a con. But, uh, the thing, uh, and that's good for her. Uh, as I pointed out last time, that's something Lady Emily doesn't seem to have done. She doesn't seem to have actually put her foot down and asserted her boundaries. Uh, the, uh, however, as for... Uh, uh, as I said but, but last time, Massey absolutely has the right to do that, and there, she doesn't need to give a reason She just as to why she's done that. She just... That, that's just her right. But if she wants to get Chugga Conroy cancelled, uh, she's gonna have to do better than that. And as far as the details of exactly what Chuggy Conroy has done that drove her to that point, the absolute closest thing she comes in this eight-part tweet to actually explaining that is saying that he had pushed boundaries. Like, honey... Say, that's not how this works. You're gonna have to do better than that. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to do better. Uh, 
What? You, you mentioned that he always apologized, but that he never followed through with his with those apologies with his continued actions. Okay, so what exactly happened? Did he, like, try to fondle your private parts? And then he gave a cheap-ass apology over text, and then the very next chance he got, he just slapped your ass John Cena-style. Is that what happened? Is that what you mean when he said he would apologize but then never follow through? That would be some details. You know, that would actually be something worth, you know, discuss. That would actually be something that should go viral and that would, would be worth canceling Chucky Conroy over. But you haven't said that. You haven't said anything like that. All you've said is that he'd push boundaries. Uh, privately apologize, but then those apologies rung hollow with his actions, whatever the hell that means. <sighs> Look, uh, this is a huge problem with cancel culture these days. People will just throw down these accusations left, right, and center but never actually follow up on them, never bother to uh, uh, submit to their, their stories to scrutiny, they'll usually just get, say that, hey, I, I've said my piece and now I'm done, and then they'll refuse to answer any follow-up questions. Well, honey, if you didn't want to, be, to have your content scrutinized, and uh, then why did you post it publicly on X? to try and uh, ha make it have an effect. It's almost as if you're admitting out loud that y your entire attempt to get somebody canceled is wholly dependent on, th on people accepting your, your accusations without any questioning. It, that's honestly what it feels like. If you're refusing to respond to follow-up questions, regarding the accusations that you put out there, then that is literally what you are admitting to. So yeah, I'm sorry, but this, but people, we need to start holding these Me Too words to account. We need to start scrutinizing them when they make these horrible stories that have consequences on people's lives. And we need to actually uh, m expect them to stick to the s to stick to their script. If they aren't gonna, if they aren't gonna actually uh, follow through, we should assume that it's all made up in the first place. So yeah, that is my updated take on the Chugger Conroy situation. Hey, Sir Thorn, out. Peace.